Hello and welcome back to another EPC Teardown Guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the HP ZBook Studio G8. This model has an i9 11th gen processor and it's a mobile workstation computer. A rather simple teardown, although it's going to require multiple different bits. So let's get into it. Alright, now let's get started. Start by flipping it over to its back side. We have seven of these captured bits. You can take them off with a, a TR5 hex bit. All right, and to remove the back cover, just simply get your fingernail underneath this back side and pull up. It should snap right off. Now we'll swap that bit out for a regular PH1 Phillips bit so we can get the battery off. Remember, always remove the battery first thing. That's just six of these it's captured this time, Phillips screws. Now disconnect it, just simply grab both sides of this little wing connector and pull out. Now, if we want to get this SSD off, we're going to have to use a slightly smaller Phillips connection for that. I use a PH000. It's just this one small Phillips screw. Then it's a bit lift up on this little copper heat sink. And the hard drive pulls right out. Swap back over to the regular Phillips bit. Next thing we're going to be doing is removing this heat sink, which is connected to the CPU fans. So the first thing we're going to do for here is disconnecting these two connectors over here. This I believe to be a display connector and a Wi-Fi connector. Remember to be very careful with these Wi-Fi connectors. Try and pop them directly up. Don't want to put them too much of a bind. Very fragile. And this is the classic latch and pull. There we go. They're just going to hang out there for a little while. These fans are both connected by their individual ribbon cables. One here and one here. A regular latch and pull. Come out real easy. Now we have the heat sink itself. We have numbered screws. Seven of them, so we'll start with number one right up here. And then we also have two Phillips screws on both of the fans. We'll just take those off. And with that, this whole heat sink should lift up and pull away. All right, now we're just going to tackle the motherboard itself. A handful of connectors and screws on it. First thing I'm gonna go after is the three connectors for the speakers. We have 
these two on the sides and we have a slightly larger one right here classic ween connectors just pop them out we've got this display connector right up here this little plastic covering is a little tough to pull away and then there's a small metal bar that you gotta pop up where you can disconnect the connector itself. Once you get that up, you can just pull it straight away. We have our keyboard connector right down here. A classic latch and pull. I get behind it because it makes it a bit easier to pull it straight out. And then we've got this other latch and pull right here for this USB daughter board. And before we can get the board itself out, we we'll have to remember this SD card port right here, which has its own unique little latch. You push down, and then it gives you a lever to pull the card out. And now the last thing we should have is a handful of Phillips screws. Two of them up here, and then two of them to the side right over here. before we get that board out we should probably pull this CMOS battery up so it doesn't get caught and now to get the board itself out lift from the left side and pull straight away now you have access to any other connections you want the touchpad is held on with these five screws. The lid itself, two screws on both sides. And there we go. That's how you take apart the HP ZBook Studio G8. Don't feel like doing a teardown yourself? Have not just one, but hundreds of devices taking up space? EPC is a global leader in the ITAD field, and it's our goal to reduce e-waste and give devices a second chance. Reach out to us today to learn more.